history will remember you Reds more better than even the Black Reds. The little boy looks at you. He picks his nose. And got you a tail. That's disgusting. Don't be rude, Ben. He's a lizard. It's not his fault he's ugly. They stare at you in disbelief. Then they start laughing. You're weird. We're waiting for our friend. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Joy? That's what I said, Fort Joy. He's gonna find his mum and bring her back. That's right. I think he's an idiot. And when he gets back, I'm gonna tell him so. Elf sways on her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. She slides one of the drinks towards you, her head bobbling heavily on her neck as she nods at the sparkling ale. And Nothing like a glass and a good stuff to smudge everything into a pretty shape. She slides another glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar light. Bottoms up. Can you just not? Cheers to you, me, and, and. Her gaze swivels around the room. Damien, dull knife. This place is horrible. Never mind. Cheers to you, me, and me again. Another. I 
reckon that was. Reckon that was. Reckon a one too many. If they got nothing to hide, they got nothing to miss. Yeah, I do. want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way in. You want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way in. What do you want? Boss is busy. Beast strokes his beard for a few seconds, buries his hand inside it, then whips it out again to display his extended middle finger. He marches past, finger still raised, to the chagrin of the gawking guard. The guard shrugs back. Boss can take care of himself. I'd like to see your friend try that with him. I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? The formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anhar? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Bart, Kate, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. You better have a damn good reason for coming here. I heard rumor Mordus is working for the Order. What say you? I heard rumor Mordus is working for the Order. Beast what bristles the moment he sees his fellow dwarf and slams his right fist into his left palm, growling all the while. Beast thrusts his weapon at his fellow dwarf, who looks first to you, then to Beast. He's surprisingly unfazed by the obvious threat. You're a brave lad waltzing in here now. I know who you are, you know, the Beast of the Sea. What brings you to this good-for-nothing town? Operation Downfall, you numbskull, and you'll tell me what you know, or I'll turn your guts inside out and stuff them down your throat. Disgusting. Well, before you go blood crazed, you should know the Queen's no friend of mine. Not no more. He hawks a wad of spit on the floor, then motions to the room around him. I'm a businessman. I can't say I always keep things on the up and up, but I don't think a rogue pirate's got a lot of room to judge a man for his various trade concerns. And what Justinia's cooking up ain't so good for my bottom line. I don't want to help Justin here. I want to stop her. Beast considers Lohar's words for a moment, then sheaths his weapon and motions to Lohar to keep talking. I thought you'd see things my way. Come, make yourself comfortable. We'll have a chat when you're ready. Brave lad, waltzing in here now. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Family matter. She's one of mine. Acting like her brains are scrambled, though. Came after me with a knife. Lucky for me, she caught an old wound. Scar slowed down the knife. So, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? Come, Finn. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> 
I've got to say I'm impressed. I love a good story. Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside town. Meister Seavers people. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all? That's so. He leans back and narrows his eyes, looking you up and down. You know, the order's been going on about Godwoken for an eon now. Voidwoken's still lurking, though, and it's still all in folks off to the joy. So if you are who you say you are, what's the point of you? Ah, I should have guessed. And it just so happens I can help you. Depending on what you can do for me. I've got people to maintain. You help me, I help you. Simple as that. He gestures towards the bandage across his side. Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla got it in her head to come after me with a short blade. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belonged to another of my people. I sent a few guys to go check on him, see if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can find him. I'd like a word with the guy. That'd be up to him, wouldn't it? No one's seen him in a good few. I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now, though. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Well, like I said, Maldus is a special guy. A sorcerer, matter of fact. Maybe even one of the ones Seavers after. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my word with him. Here, you can take this off my hands. More suited to your kind, really. Good luck. Better get out there before Maldus makes it all the way past Arks. All right? That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back, though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Bloody lad. Flapping his gums in the next life, too. That's another little venture of ours. Don't concern you, though. Let's... Well, I reckon that's good news, P poor thing. She'll be back in time. She and Anhar were sweethearts. We will, once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. Don't insult me. I wouldn't expose my people like that. But if you find out who did it, Shake their hand for me. Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? Close enough. 
enough, Reptile. I thought you lizards were all hiding behind your imperial walls. What are you doing in Driftwood? I'm someone investigating the disappearance of four magisters. There's a sorcerer stalking these streets, an affront to our order. And much as I'd like to blame your scaled hide, you've only just arrived. Now, tell me, have you seen a man in a grey cloak, grey beard, carrying a satchel, perhaps? The Magister's eyes narrow, and her lip curls as she assesses you. It's vital that you report anything unusual. We must know. Is that clear? He arrived in Driftwood some days ago, dressed as a tinkerer. He bought and sold a few knickknacks. But we thought nothing of it until our brothers started vanishing. As soon as he knew we were on to him, he ran. We think he's hiding in here, but he's a canny one. Now, be on your way. Who knows where he could strike next? raised, the dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. Not like this. This smells real bad. This smells evil. Behind the containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The Magisters have gone mad. They're trying to kill me. Or worse, drag me off to Fort Joy. Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want them to take me. I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Thank you. Oh, Lucian, seven times divine, thank you. I'll follow your lead, but please be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. The Magister steps forward with a smile and draws her weapon. What? What? No, you said you'd help. You promised. You promised you'd get me out. You utter fool. Very well. If you want to share his cause, then you'll share his fate.
support you. Die in that wretched place. Do you have my thanks? If not for you, I probably would have been found, gutted, and salted. I can't just saunter away. Who knows what might be lurking in a place like this? But once I'm sure the way's clear, I'm running to Ox like a cat with its tail on fire. I'm done with this stinking town. I've been asking myself the same thing. I was just enjoying some stew in the tavern, reading over my latest acquisitions, and then I was surrounded by magisters. He hands you a damp scroll. In between the fish guts, it seems to give details of how to cast a powerful source spell. Here, take it. That's the scroll that caused all this. I barely got out of there with my life. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not much of a sorcerer, but I have my connections. Hanang's a pretty powerful source master. Incredible control of portals. I've never seen anyone bend space like she can. Last I heard, she was holed up in a house out in Paradise Downs, the farms to the north. There's more than a few magisters around those parts, though. She might still be there. Might not. But I pity any red cloak that gets on her bad side. He pauses for a long moment, his eyes lingering on your weapon. I mean, okay. Look, if you want something else, go to Blood Moon Island. I'm not giving you a name. I'm not giving you anything. Whoever you find there, whatever you find, it's not on me. But if you really want a sorcerer, go to Blood Moon Island. And that's all I have to say about it. They must have belonged to one of their mission friends. They nearly lynched me then and there. They wouldn't listen when I tried to tell them that I got it from the cook. I thought she was an idiot selling it so cheap. Then again, I'm the dolt who ended up in a barrel. But if she has magister artifacts, she must be the one they're looking for. I swear, once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. 